Jacinda Ardern videos we've been seeing. Yeah, in fact, we're about to meet the guy who's been making them. He's a master of what they call deep fake technology, and he's got his sights set on some of the most powerful people in New Zealand. Want to see my first Wait, morning? has Jacinda Ardern just starred as Buttercup from The Princess Bride? No, friends, this is a deep fake. That's when you take a video of someone and using fancy deep learning technology, transpose their face onto someone else. I know, you really thought that was Steve Buscemi. But sometimes it gets more serious, a direct threat to democracy. Mr. Gore, let me start by asking, why are politicians in all of Washington so concerned about deep fakes? Well, what has people in the government really scared is that Deep fakes can put words in people's mouths. It turns out that's not really former US President Donald Trump or former US Vice President Al Gore. Imagine the implications of forcing a government official to say or do something ridiculous like... There's something I'm rather excited to share with you all. Ooh, I just want or this. No, I'm a perfect specimen. I'm in perfect shape. Oh. I've just been told that's actually real. Bad example. Uh, scarily, though, this technology is getting convincingly good. President Trump is a total and complete dipshit. <laughs> now, you see, I would never say these things, at least not in a public address, but someone else would. Someone like Jordan Peele. Now, this disturbing trend has cropped up within our borders with a YouTube account targeting our top leadership. Here's Judith Collins as Dolores Umbridge in Harry Potter. I really hate children. Todd Muller as Dr. Evil. Uh, well, I have, of course, uh, uh, Shane Retty and uh, Paula Bennett. And I'd be remiss not to show you this nightmare inducing mashup of Judith with Winnie's face. It means giving Kiwi businesses confidence. We asked the Prime Minister what she thought of all this, and she said. It's more than I can bear. Her husband. <laughs> And first man Clark Gayford, of course, is asking the right questions. OK, who made this and, um, why? Well, Clark, the answer to your first question is Barry Toms. He's the mastermind behind, the, behind these deep fakes. And he joins us now, Barry, to address Clark's second question. Why do you make these? Um, lots of reasons. It's a beautiful, romantic story. <laughs> and uh, I like uh, using the technology. It's so fun. You yeah, you're just having fun, really, are you? Yeah, I'm pretty much homebound because I got multiple sclerosis many years ago and pretty limited in the activities I can partake in. And Cartoon's a pretty small town, so <laughs> for the past few years, I've been getting more into technology. But you know that there is a kind of a darker side to this, right? You know the technology well. Are you worried, as I think some of us are, that this could be used for the wrong reasons? Uh, it's somewhat concerning. Some people call it the deep fake revolution is coming, and it'll take a few years for people to get used to the fact that video and audio can't be trusted, and it'll be similar to Photoshop to images. And I think people are still trying to get used to the fact that um, Photoshop images of beautiful women aren't actually real. And... Uh, yeah, it'll take some time for people to get used to that. I don't think our brains can adapt fast enough. Does it take a long time? Like how long did it take you to make that Princess Bride clip? Uh, not that long, actually. Oh. I'd already collected all the source images to put on Jacinda's face and built a model for applying her face to anybody, and similarly Clark. So it actually took about three days or all up, and probably about four hours of my time, and the rest of the time was computers at Google working hard. Do you take requests? Like, could you put my face on Jesse's body? I'm just asking for my wife. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to take requests. And I was noting today that you were in the new monkey. Mm -hmm. And I was thinking, oh, you really need a proper nose to be pixie. Oh, yeah, give properly. me a pig's nose. <laughs> I was thinking that. So I looked at uh. the original monkey. But the nose wasn't really suitable. But yeah, I'd like to give you a pig's nose. Wow. <laughs> well, this has really backfired a bit, isn't it? Well, actually, I'm looking forward to having a porcine honker. Uh, thank you much, uh, very much, Barry, for joining us tonight. Really appreciate it, a eh? chance to be on the show. <laughs> Yeah, thank you for joining us tonight. We've got the real Kate Rogers and the real Justine Smith. Yeah.